All right. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, chef. Really? Why? Because I like to bake. Maisie Nallen had just finished her first week of kindergarten when her mom and dad noticed something strange. We had noticed some bruising, you know, um, and I thought our kids had set up the slip and slide to coincide with the playground slide in our backyard. And I thought the bruising had come from going over old tree roots on that slip and slide. She just had so many bruises. And our neighbor and good friend who is a pediatrician, I said, can you look at her? Like, you know, what do you think? And she said, I, I think I would get her checked out. And then I called her actual pediatrician who said, take her, take her in tonight. And something in her voice, I knew then that we were in big trouble. Maisie was quickly transported to Cleveland Clinic Children's where after much testing, she was diagnosed with very severe aplastic anemia, an incredibly rare blood disease. Maisie's parents immediately researched every children's hospital around, but they found the best place to treat Maisie was in their own backyard. There really was no comparison to what they offered here. One of the things that struck me shortly after we, Maisie was diagnosed and we were here, uh, I think it was a social worker, somebody was asking us where, where we were from, meaning, you know, are you from Southern Ohio, are you from Pennsylvania? Or from a different part of the world. Right, right. right. We were from, you know, a 20 minute drive away in Lakewood. And it struck me then, I'm like, man, we are really lucky that we have access to this type, this level of healthcare, you know, right across town. All right, you are two and I am one. Even more important than the close proximity is the incredible relationship Maisie has forged with her doctor, Dr. Robbie Hanna, and the feeling is mutual. I call her the amazing Maisie because from day one when we met uh, Maisie, she was really a very energetic uh, girl, but she distinguished herself by re impressively asking very a uh, difficult and important question that were way beyond her age. I was like, are you sure you are only six years old? I can't believe that. I always tell the families, we are going to become part of your family during this journey. Talk about the doctor. It's really heartwarming to see his interaction with your daughter. Oh, completely. And we, you know, we have just the utmost faith and trust in him and know that he is and the whole team, you know, their brilliance and their care are helping her through this this very difficult time. And along the way, I mean, he's he's really gained her trust and she loves him. And that's made all the difference. Oh, you won! <laughs> Maisie's journey has been filled with ups and downs, including the time when they realized not one of her four siblings would be a match for the bone marrow transplant she so desperately needed. That was a blow like none other. I think even more so than getting diagnosed. We started immunosuppressive therapy right after Christmas. They ruled that a failure. And at this point, she had no good matches in the whole worldwide database. And a week later, Dr. Hanna said, we, we have a match for her. It's from Germany. He's 24 years old. This is what we've been waiting for. This is for her. Are you maybe a little smarter than your doctor? Yes. Yes. Maisie had a successful bone marrow transplant last April. She's come such a long way. She's yes. gone through a lot. Yes. Kids are so resilient, though. I think it's probably how those doctors can do and nurses can do what they do every day. Kids, kids are the joy of our lives. We really, I can't tell you, I ask all the time, why we're doing, how could you even be a pediatric oncologist? And I will tell them I can't be anything else. The energy, the reward you get by taking care of them, it's impressive. Maisie's parents just want for Maisie what every parent wishes for their child. And what are your hopes and dreams for that little biscuit over there when uh. you look over <laughs> <laughs> at that sweet little thing? Uh, you know, I, we just, we want her to get better and to be able to get her life back to normal, to be able to go back to school and to, to be able to take her to the movies and, and uh, to play a sport. Play a sport and, and you know, we, we want her to be able to get you know, that, that life back.
what an awesome family and a beautiful child. Remember, 100% of your donations stay right here in Northeast Ohio when you give local.